Hey guys, so I'm really, really excited because I just finished the most epic painting I've ever done in my entire life. Mm, yeah, <laughs> is it? I think it is, yeah. I, I, I would say that this is the best painting I've ever done. But before I show it to you, I want to talk about the paintings that I have done in the past. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I sometimes upload paintings there. And some of those paintings, you know, I'll admit, I, they aren't my best shot of painting. Like, I'll probably spend maybe three hours on each painting. I make sure to get them done relatively quickly because I don't want to get bogged down in painting for a really long time. And a lot of the times, they're just exercises where I'm practicing an element or I had an idea for something that I wanted to draw, but I don't want to get bogged down in it and spend, you know, days or weeks. Sometimes I feel like in order to improve your artwork, it's better to just work fast, release things and not get stuck in something because the longer you get stuck in a project, the harder it is to get finished and then the more likelihood that it's going to end up stuck on your hard drive, never to see the light of day. And I know that you've done that before. We've all done it. No shame. With this artwork, I decided, okay, I'm going to put things down for a moment, stop thinking about all the other things that I need to do and just focus. Focus on creating a really great work, um, spend, I think I've spent maybe the last almost two weeks on this painting and as a result all my uploads have been behind. I haven't updated my comic, I haven't created a video for you guys, I haven't posted much on my Instagram because I've just been 100% focused on this drawing, um, which is like a cardinal sin of social media and uploading because you know you're not uploading frequently. For me um, that inspiration was a lot of my travels overseas and in particular it's like my favorite city in the world which is Kyoto um, in Kyoto Japan and if you haven't been there you definitely have to go there but Kyoto is kind of like the old traditional Japan and it has all these amazing like small alleyways and shops um, a lot of traditional temples and it's just super beautiful like there's this main river that runs through the city and I just remember when I first went there just going there and thinking oh my god like this is the most beautiful place I've ever been and I've never felt more calm or just so peaceful and happy and I just it was like those mind-blowing moments that you have when you go overseas and you think to yourself, I can't believe a place like this actually exists. What I wanted to do was I wanted to take all of that feeling and encapsulate it in this painting. All right, enough talking about it. Let me actually show you the painting. Okay. No, that's not the painting. Let me just open up Photoshop. Oh shit, that's not it. Just kidding. <laughs> Here's the actual painting, this time for sure. Da -da. Okay, let me go full screen. Yes, boom. Okay, so I've been working on this painting for quite a long time and I kind of just told myself that I need to you know, put an end to it because I felt like I was getting carried away with detailing and that's another thing that I've been working on as well is like the level of detail that you use in an image um, controlling the viewer's eye and yeah just that concept of understanding where to increase detail and where to reduce detail and use abstraction versus um, realism to create visual interest and you know just make the composition stronger. And I guess a more specific example of that would be like, let's say if you look at the windows of the shop fronts, I haven't actually drawn anything in those windows. You know, I was considering, should I draw like clothing or, you know, food items? And that was at the point where I was like, no, I need to just pull back and just leave it as is um, and let the, the viewer kind of fill in the details of what's gonna be there. But I will say that the most detailed thing I drew on this was probably the vending machine. So. You can see that there's a dude like buying drinks and you can even see like the little lights where it indicates whether that drink is sold out or available. Um, and I think the one he's going for is sold out. So, sorry guy. Another area that I've been trying to develop has been textures and materials. So an example in this painting would be the grass. I've always struggled with like how much detail do I need to put in because obviously you're not gonna draw every single blade of grass. 
um, but at the same time you don't want it to be too bland and just be a flat color so yeah I've just had to experiment a lot with brush types and while a lot of it is like predetermined and you know I've decided I want to put a blade of grass here or a blade of grass there um, a lot of it is kind of happy accidents and experimenting to see what comes out and just hopefully it looks nice so even with like all the work that I've done on this drawing, I can still see areas where it probably could be better or it's not perfect and I'm starting to see all the errors. But for now, this drawing is done and I need to just move on and, you know, draw something different. I'm super excited about it. This is kind of the pinnacle of what my the art style that I imagined in the past and I just want to continue drawing more scenes like this, use this style to tell more stories and share with you guys more of the experiences that I've had in my life or things that mean something to me, um, share that through my art and I think this is the perfect style to do that. Anyway that's it from me, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment below and if you really like the painting please go check out my Patreon. So there you can get access to a full like 4K high definition wallpaper, it looks great on like computer desktops or even on your phone. I really appreciate all your support and it goes towards supporting the channel, um, paying for software subscriptions, my camera gear and also fueling my coffee addiction. So um, yeah, I really appreciate it and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.